Hey guys and welcome back to another video and uh, today we are at an undisclosed off-road location as you can see around this is off public access private land that I have personal permission from the landowner to be on to use for off-road activities therefore whatever activities I'm going to be doing in this video cannot be considered illegal with my vehicle because I am off public access so therefore nobody has the right to bitch and complain you know who you are hi so anyways this video we're gonna be talking about the four-wheel drive systems that are in the Jeep Cherokee Grand Cherokee and I believe the Wranglers of the 90s era um, there's a lot of miscommunication and misconception about the four-wheel drive setups um, and how to use them as there are three different transfer cases available in the Jeeps in this era. Now, your most common that you're going to find in your Cherokees, uh, those range, I believe, from 1988 to 2001. The most common you're going to find is the transfer case 231 and the transfer case 242. The select track and the command track transmit uh, transmissions transfer cases. Uh, in your Wranglers, don't quote me but I believe they are also just the 242 and the 231 transfer cases. The third transfer case is the option 249, and that came in the Grand Cherokees, which is the model of Jeep mine is. Uh, came a lot of the uh, V8s, if that the 52, the 59. Odds are you had a good chance of having the 249 transfer case. Now, this might sound like a Greek to a lot of you people, so I'm gonna break that down and tell you what those transfer cases are, what they're designed for and what option to choose for your four-wheel drive usage. So we're going to flip this camera around and we're going to look at what I have for a transfer case and talk about what uh, capabilities mine has first. All right, so flipped around here, you guys can see, obviously I've got the select track four-wheel drive. So that means I've got two-wheel drive, I've got four-wheel drive part-time, four-wheel drive full-time, neutral and low. Now, what is the difference between these guys well for starters let's go into two-wheel drive I'm gonna roll down the window and let's get it locked out of four by so two-wheel drive obviously a lot of you guys should know what that means when I smash the gas that tire won't spin those tires will doing a brake stand but still same principle I'm going to smash the throttle they didn't get any power obviously they shouldn't it's two-wheel drive now where the miscommunication or the confusion comes in with the part-time and the full-time well Jeep here is kind of pretty much laid it out to simple 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 stupid so two-wheel drive it's green four-wheel part-time it's yellow Full time it's green. Neutral and low, they're also yellow. So what does that mean? Well, when you throw your transfer case into part time, it means just that, part time use. You should not be driving with a daily on the street. But what this does is this locks your transfer case for a 50-50 split. So you're getting 50% power to your front axle, 50% power to your rear axle. So, I'm now locked into four-wheel drive. When I smash my throttle, front tires will spin, same with the rears. Now I don't have a locker in the front diff, so it's gonna be whatever tire with the least amount of traction is going to spin. If I turn my wheel, I can usually get it to kick the driver. Oh, yep. All right, so we know that. Let's get her back into two wheel. All right, so now we're back in two wheel drive. So full time, what's full time mean? Well, we pull into full time, we are locked. Let's uh, get the transfer case to lock here. There we go, we are locked in full time, four wheel drive. This means I can drive this all the time 
in dry pavement, on wet snow, or wet roads, on icy snow, uh, on gravel. I can put this in full time, four wheel drive, and drive this 24 seven, year round, no issue. Why? Well, that's because the Select Track 242 transfer case system allows the transfer case to differentiate the power. It'll split 60% power to the rear and 40% power to the front axle. This allows no binding when you're doing a full lock to lock turn. When you're turning tight corners, you're not going to get your front, uh, your front drive system, you know, your axles, steering, none of that's going to bind up and get that wheel hop. So that's what that does. But it also gives you a little bit less grip when you're off road because you're getting more power to your rear tires. So what do you want to use when you're on the trails? Obviously you want to use part-time. Use full-time when you're driving around the streets, you know, the cities and it's kind of slick outside. If you're driving through a crap ton of deep snow, hey, I say locker into part-time. So now we've got for low. Actually, we'll go to neutral. What's neutral do? Well, it does that. My transmission's in gear. My transfer case is in neutral. So I'm sending power to the trans or through the transmission to the transfer case. We're obviously not not going anywhere. I'm gonna let this wind down. Lock it into four low. Now we're in four low. What's that mean? Well, it's providing me more torque. It's a lower range. So when I put it into drive and I smash the throttle, in fact, I'm barely hitting the brake right now and she just wants to lurch. So when I smash the throttle, it's gonna give me a lot of torque at these tires. But you're gonna lose a lot of your top end. All right. Put her back into four part time or full time just because the trails really aren't all that uh aren't that bad here so that's the 242 transfer case that's how you use the thing we've also got the 231 which is the command track now what is the command track well it's essentially this and i'll post pictures of it you have two wheel drive which is green that's going to be you're on your street then you're going to have four wheel part-time then you're gonna go from that to neutral and low so you do not have four-wheel full-time so essentially it's 50-50 split front and rear uh, power to the drivetrain you essentially just do not have your full-time four-wheel drive now what is the quadra track the 249 transfer case well that's where things are a little little different the 249 literally this you have your choice of four-wheel drives you have four-wheel drive full-time neutral full-time well like I said it's a 60 40 split you have your neutral and then you have four low now your four low does lock your drive your your uh, your axles uh, front and rear 50 50 so you can use that when you're off-road and then you got full-time you do not have the option of two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive full time or uh, part time sorry so these two options are not available in the 249 quadra track so let's hope that clears a few things up so anyways what are you going to find the uh, the 249 transfer case in well like i said you're going to find those in a lot of the grand cherokees most of them will have the v8 engine either the 52 it's the 52 yeah the 52 or the 59 59 I believe was only a 90 98 yeah I think the 98 was the only 59 again don't quote me I don't know exactly it's what I believe uh, and then the 52 I believe that varied from 95 94 I think you get that 52 in it uh, so anyways yeah that's the uh, the transfer case options here I've heard a lot of people going on about you know Oh, only use four wheel full time off road. That's when you're supposed to be using, you know, when you're four wheel and you want to be in full time. No, part time. Keep it in the yellow. Yellow for off road, green for your pavement. Hope that settles a lot of things.